This episode, we will talk about some key terms and concepts. As a professional, you should know them by heart. Sometimes you would have to ask another user for help, or you want to help someone else new to learn Lat 2D. It would be troublesome to communicate if we don't know the standardized terms. So we will learn about texture, polygon, and art mesh. Long story short, texture plus polygon equals art mesh. Let's start with the basics. Launch Cubism. You should see this layout. If it appears as something completely different, you might be in animator mode or form animation mode. We should start with the modeler mode. Go to the top here, open the drop down menu, and select Model. This is the canvas area. Currently, there is no model file opened up. Cubism allows us to open one or more models at the same time. All the open files will be found here in the canvas area. Okay now, how do I actually tell Cubism the art material I prepared to make my model project with? Now we do have a material for this part of the tutorial. If you haven't downloaded it already, it is in the description section below. There's a link to download the material that we need. We'll now learn how to import the PSD file into Cubism. Open up the material folder, drag and drop into the canvas, and that's it. Simple, right? You should see a pink container and a dark gray object. We will do something with them in later episodes. But now, let's first talk about the three concepts, texture, polygons, and art meshes. Texture refers to the art texture, whatever is drawn in the PSD. The data of the texture exists inside the PSD. Listen to this carefully. The texture data exists in the PSD, and the PSD is embedded into our model file. We'll talk more about the abstract in later episodes. Let's just move on with the idea that when we say texture, it is referring to the things that we've drawn. A model file holds onto the source PSD file. But for the model to function efficiently, every layer in the PSD drawing is at some point laid out onto a square-shaped map with transparent background, which is called the texture atlas. In 3D terms, it is something like the texture map. In 2D game development terms, it is similar to a sprite sheet. Both objects right now are existing in a virtual texture atlas. We can edit them in the mesh edit mode by double clicking an object or as a better practice, click once to select, then click this edit polygon button to enter mesh edit mode. Or you can select and then control E. So let's try to play around with the vertices and see what difference would it make when I do different things to these vertices. We'll first expand these vertices to a bigger area. We have two triangles here making this polygon and let's see what does, what does it do. Well, it seems like it does nothing different to anything that shows up on the canvas. Let's go back to editor mode. And this time we will reduce its size to something smaller, like this. Now we see that we only have a portion of the original shape. Let's go back to editor mode. I will expand this again and press OK. Oh, now we have the full shape again. So this time I will make a something like this. All right. So imagine we have 
nine vertices like these. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, the shape is still the same. Okay, now we transform the vertices here in the canvas. I'll turn this into this kind of shape. All right, now I transform something, I transform the original texture, and then I will go back to editor mode. And it shows the same thing that we had in the canvas. So what's happening? Now here's the idea. Ultimately, what decides on the drawn object to show up on the canvas are things called art mesh. Art mesh are invisible, transparent, flat shapes. Think of it as a holographic screen. The art mesh's function is to show, to project, or to render uh, visible texture somewhere on the canvas. One art mesh only contains one texture object, often a body part, perhaps the iris, perhaps the nose, one ear, or the front bangs. The art mesh exists on the model's file canvas, but it also exists in a texture atlas. The art mesh captures specific area of the texture atlas and show that area into a specific area on the canvas. A Live 2D model usually have at least 40 to 50 art meshes. Each art mesh is composed of polygons. A polygon refers to the triangular segment of the texture part. Multiple triangles can combine into any shapes, and multiple shapes combine into one mesh. The edges of a triangle can only be straight. The points of these triangles are vertices, or singular form would be vertex. When we transform our texture's triangles, we are moving these vertices individually or as a group. We cannot control the edges. So here's the takeaway. How does the canvas display the things we've drawn? When an art mesh is placed on the canvas, and the art mesh is capturing some texture in the atlas, then some parts that we've drawn appears on the canvas allowing us to transform them and make them into animations.